back to our channel. We're Dils Cavazos, and this is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, episode 47. It's a lot of stuff happening right now. The mm -hmm. promised day is tomorrow. Al got taken by pride and gluttony. They blew up the bridge with Fear Bradley. He fell down. I don't think he's dead. And then the father just happened to show up, and now he's mm -hmm. running things now, calling the shots. Yeah. There's a lot going on right now. There's a lot going on. I feel like it's all leading up to this big old promised day. But like, which... it's also like the promised day is happening right now, and right. we still have so many more episodes to go. Yeah, well, that's the thing. It's like, okay, obviously, I don't think the promised day is going to go through. I mean, that would be really messed up. Yeah. If, like, all of Amestris is just like... Wiped out. Yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like they're going to try to stop it somehow. Obviously, they have their reverse transmutation thingy deal. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, Ed still doesn't even know about that, does he? No. And you guys actually pointed that out in the last episode. That yeah. there was a time jump, I guess, at the end of the previous episode prior to that one. Which, you know, they kind of had him going with, like, greed slash lane, right. you know, off. And I didn't which really think much of it. really, yeah. But I did notice. I didn't say anything because I didn't want to sound stupid. But I did <laughs> see that Ed was taller than Winry. And I, I kind of, like, in my head, I was like, didn't they always make emphasis that he was, like, short? than her and yeah. that was like the whole reason why like I like taller men and stuff like that but I was just like oh that could have just been like my, my mind playing tricks on myself but then you guys confirmed it yeah, yeah no he did get taller a lot of stuff there at play but it feels like we're finally gonna have all of our characters kind of re like meet each other again yeah. and it, like it's weird to think that it's been so long now and we still don't really have the question as to where Hohenheim's at in all of this mm -hmm. too like I'm not I'm not quite sure what his role is I think he's going to have a major role in all of this, but I just can't see, even foresee what that's going to be. Right. All right, well, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our Patreon if you want to watch our full length reactions. We also have a second channel, Dos Cavazos IRL, where we do vlogs and other stuff like that. If you want to check that out, the link's down below. Before we jump into today's video, we want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Boksu. Boksu is a snack subscription that delivers authentic snacks, candies, and teas all the way from Japan to your front door. And also, Boksu makes such a perfect and memorable gift for anyone in your life who appreciates Japanese snacks and culture, especially during a time where people aren't able to travel as easily as they would like. And actually, not only would you be gifting them Boksu, which is already awesome, but you'd also be technically gifting them the chance to win free tickets to Japan because Boksu is having a giveaway. They'll be picking one lucky winner to win a free set of tickets, and anyone who subscribed before December 31st is automatically entered. I'll include a link in the description so you can check out the terms and conditions and any other methods of entry. All right, let's jump into the video. By the way, we got an Alphonse. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. I was like, hey. I mean, <laughs> sort of. Yeah. Yeah, you're talking to them. Yeah. No. yeah, we did get an Alphonse. This one still has his hair. <laughs> that's, that's the only full metal we have. Yeah. I feel like there's It's pretty stuff. cool. I like Pops, but I do like other bigger figures right. as well, too. You can't even so, like, see it. I know, like, we'll be adjusting our setup soon. <laughs> soon enough. <gasps> Spoilers! <laughs> Spoilers! Spoiler yeah. alert! But I, hopefully we'll find something. We're not quite sure exactly what we're doing yet, but we have Yeah, we're gonna figure it out. It's gonna we be have cool. kind of a, it's gonna be fun. a general it's gonna be idea, but we'll see if it comes together. Y'all get to it. know first. Yeah. yeah. We won't mention it in any other show besides Full Metal. <laughs> yeah. Watch us mention it in like the next show or something. <laughs> and I'll make a point of emphasis not to. <laughs> Alphonse is captured. So does that mean he hasn't seen him in two years? I guess, yeah. Does he know? Like, do they talk? Is he in like this the void? void? Yeah. It's time to wake up, Alphonse. That doesn't sound like Pride. <sighs> not Pride. Who um, are you? But doesn't the voice sound similar to Pride? Whose hand? It is pride. There's still so much work mm. we yeah. have in store for you. Hmm. Okay. Obviously, they I was gonna say, like, they want him to be did separate. Ed and Al communicate at all? I don't think so. Like that, because remember, he got separated, and it was like mm -hmm. before that, before he like teamed up with Greed. He was like, where could they be? <gasps> Mr. Okay, <Hull>. Mr. Oh, <laughs> you got some company. Okay, take two. Let's see how this is gonna be. Edward. Didn't think. <gasps> oh, you at least warned me you were about to slug me, and with your metal hand too. <laughs> so you're the one in charge, and I'd like to thank you for looking after my son. Sure, but you know he can be a real pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> the shock on their faces. I was worried this might be more difficult for you to accept than it was for Alphonse. Wait, you told Al about this? I'm sure he has his own thoughts on the matter, but he accepted it nonetheless. If you want to use me to get your bodies back, <gasps> you can. Maybe oh. you are a living philosopher's stone, but I'm not going to sacrifice innocent souls. I'm proud my son of Beelzebub. Aww. Aww. There will Hug. be a solar eclipse tomorrow. He plans on harnessing it for a scheme. I need you to help me. Help you? Now look here. I'm going to stop that bearded bastard. But I'm not doing it because you want me to help you! It doesn't matter what your reasons are as long as you'll still fight alongside me. 
Oh my goodness! Did he hear that? Granny asked me to give you mom's final words. <gasps> oh! <gasps> Sorry I couldn't keep my promise. Aww. But I'm dying first. Aww. Aww. He's not this monster that you thought he was. For that like we thought we, who was that at the we beginning thought of the series. He was. That's so sad. It was his wife too. Don't you think you should maybe try to be a little nicer to your old man? Yeah, really. You could at least refer to him as dad. But he doesn't strike me as the type who'd abandon his wife, you know? The guy must have had his reasons. Yeah! <laughs> Shut up! Did you ever think that I've got my reasons? <laughs> Such a whirlwind of emotions. I can see why. The guy's a walking, talking philosopher's stone. It's just... It's not what I was expecting. No matter what, we are always a family. Trisha. I'm going away. <gasps> oh. Please wait for me. Of course. Oh. I'll be right here. You knew that I was unable to grow old and die with you. But you always believed that I'd come back. I should have been beside you, my love. Mm -hmm. And here you go. Thank you, ma'am. And what exactly is that for? Oh, oh he made himself a thing. Come on, what's wrong with what you're wearing now? Red's my color. <laughs> There's a pretty good chance this is going to be the last battle we ever fight. I want to do it in style. <laughs> I like how he like adopted the ponytail too yeah. now. I mean, he did it out of like necessity and then it just stuck. You don't have to tag along with me, you know. I'm thinking you'd be better off going your own way before things start to get too serious. I mean, if it's just about trying to get your old bodies back. That's not it. These bodies do have their perks. So why stick with me then? Well, why wouldn't we? It's not like we have anything better to do. <laughs> they respect him. Good's coming, so I'll ride this thing out with you. And what's your story, Greed? Are you hoping to settle the score with the other homunculi for what they did to your friends? Are you asking me why I've decided to return to Central? I'm not telling you, kid. We're not flip at the last second, Greed. Don't be greedy. Hold <laughs> up. <laughs> No, no, there's something's wrong. Something's weird. It's out. No, 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 it's not. Oh, man, this is weird. It's weird. I don't trust it. Hey, wait. I thought you were with Major Miles over in the eastern area. Nothing bad happened, right? He knows. We no, something's talk. weird. Uh, sure. It's fucking pride. Uh, oh, you better not go by yourself. Hey, uh, are you sure you're Greed was even out? freaking out. He knows. You seem a little. Ed! <gasps> Ling? Get away from him! No! <gasps> <gasps> Oh, oh dead. gosh! I mean, he's not dead. Oh, oh shit. gosh! What? What the hell was that? I see that you're working with them now, huh, Greed? How pathetic that you share your consciousness with a human. Fuck you, bro. Oh my god! Oh my gosh, that's what spooky. The heck? That's got to be the thumbnail for this episode. <laughs> the Führer's remains haven't turned up yet. Cause he's not dead. Some kind of miracle to he's gonna come that. back fucking like pissed. The of the northern forces, but I intend to oversee the rest of the search. I won't be able to comfortably sleep at night till I see his corpse with my own eyes. <laughs> yeah, no shit, cause he's gonna keep the coming for you. <laughs> if Colonel Mustang or General Armstrong try to make their move now, every soldier in Central will be ordered to retrieve their treasonous heads. And once they're captured, I'll step in to restore order. They'll take the fall as enemies of the state. Oh, shit. While General Grumman will heroically come riding in on a white horse. Okay, so he has all He's a little motives. nefarious. So maybe he was just smacking her ass in the last episode, <laughs> slipping a note in her pants. He knows. We may have joined forces to prepare for the promised day. We have different yeah, motives. Different motives. Hopefully, Al can break out of this. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my gosh. It looks Horrible, like he's kind yeah. of fighting it. It's pride. You don't mean that. Yeah, that's my brother. Homunculus? So, you've made up your mind to betray us no matter what, Greed. How did you even know I was here? <laughs> How dare you disguise yourself as my brother? Mm -hmm. Who said this was a disguise? 
This is, without a doubt, your brother's actual body. You bastard! Now, Full Metal Alchemist, if you would be so kind as to come with me. Oh my gosh. Or someone else. Michael, you guys should run for cover. It'd probably mm. be smart they can't for you to this. run too. I'll be just fine. They need me and Al for their plan, so they aren't gonna kill us. You're right. I must take you alive. But if I slice off a few of your limbs in the process, so be it. Ornheim was still just right there. Come on, come on. Make sure and keep him away from the slums. How you know? Oh my god! It's gonna be able to handle this. Not gonna work against him. Now then, I've captured your friend, Full Metal. Ready to give up? You're not going to make me threaten the lives of the slum dwellers too, are you? I mean, they're all gonna die either way if you don't bring him. Fuck your little hands. <laughs> <laughs> your tiny hands. Mm -hmm. What's you do? I think it's about time I start winning some of these fights for a change. Wait, did you think of something? Like yeah, what's he doing? The electric. I thought her like sound went out. What yeah. the heck? <laughs> Wait, how did that work? The shadows? Like, are we missing something? I feel like we're missing something. What happened to the power? Couldn't he not leave the the tunnels? Pride can't cast any shadows without a source of light. Okay. He's just as blind in this darkness as the rest of us. Hey, Heinkel, did you notice the shadow cast by Al's body? He kept close to the edge of the shadows from the forest. His actual body's probably just beyond those trees. He's got a special container that he uses when he's traveling around. Mm, oh, okay. So okay, that's, so how so that's how. container. Okay. Okay. So that makes sense. So he uses Salim. Just get out. Are completely overcast. The others <laughs> won't be able to see in this darkness either. Kill the child. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh shit! Oh! <laughs> You've got some pretty strong nerves to attack a small child without even flinching. Fuck you, child. <laughs> you are an actual child, but I know what you are. Oh shit! <laughs> but my animal instincts are screaming at me. They're telling me to kill you. It's not even doing anything. Me. Let's get out of here for the time being. I'm not gonna leave Al behind like that. I know how they're not gonna kill him. Be, but what if we get close to him and it turns out to be a trap? I feel like he's gonna die. So those mm -hmm. sounds, that's the lion guy fighting with pride. It's always your best bet to let the nocturnal animals handle fighting in the dark. <gasps> oh, fuck. Get down now! Oh gosh. he bring gluttony. That that slob? That makes <laughs> sense. Now I know how Pride managed to track us down. It's all oh, him. You keep okay. it going on? I keep anticipating <laughs> Hohenheim. Like he, like, the electricity went out. He noticed it. Like He's relying on his sense of smell to guide him in the dark. <laughs> so right now, I'd say you're evenly matched for a fair fight. The first strike is mine. Uh, okay. Get that close to his mouth. Now for the final blow. Let Ling fight. What wing? Switch with me. Oh. I can detect the presence of a homunculus when I'm the one in control. Come on, do it's it, do it. Like I have a choice. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you and I are on the same team. Thanks. Ling? That's right. All I want to do is eat. But you won't let me eat you. Same. <laughs> Oh, his damn yeah. stomach again. What? What is that? What the? Oh, oh shit! What happened? Stay down, kid. What was that? Who was that? I know. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, that was the um, the older guy, right? Though. Oh wait, no. Lafon. How did she find She got them? a metal arm. I'm glad to see you're okay. I was wondering when you'd find me. Lan Fan. No! 
Is Gladi dead? Look, <laughs> he was like freaking sparking. All right, so Lanfon has returned. She yeah. has a metal arm now. And she's super quick. Yeah, see in the so dark. fast. Yeah, so I thought we were actually gonna get the promised day, mm -hmm. but obviously there's a lot of stuff that are happening in between. Ed got to meet his father again. That was an interesting interaction. And like, I kept saying that, you know, Hohenheim was gonna like jump into action there, jump into action. So I was kind of surprised that he didn't, in all honesty. Like, you gotta anticipate that he knew something was going on, especially when like the lights went out. It makes me wonder how much of like a fighter he actually is, yeah. or how much power he actually has. Like, I mean, I know he's a philosopher's stone, but like, what does that actually entail? Like, what can he actually do? I know we've seen him heal before, but like, can he, does he fight, you know? Mm. We don't know. But you would think that he would try to make the effort to like help right. his son. You know, he got to think like, okay, my son was just here and like yeah. we're going to fight tomorrow. Like they have a plan. I would think, you know, mm -hmm. Hohenheim has a plan. I feel like more so than anything. But we also got to see Ling kind of take his body back for a little bit. Um, I don't know how long that's going to continue on. You know, this whole yeah. little fight for the body between him and Greed. I mean, obviously we want Ling to, to have this body back, but... That kind of like this weird like relationship that I know it's kind of like it's interesting to see them work yeah. together like they kind of said like in the same body and like oh yeah. switch off tag me and tag <laughs> me out. <laughs> it's also so weird that Pride used Alphonse's yeah. body. Like, makes sense though, though. I mean yeah it makes sense but it's like where is Al still up in the little void? I feel like that's what they were insinuating like right. at the beginning of the episode and I I don't really know how, but he was also, I don't know if he, you know, he could just mimic voices or anything like that. It was definitely Alphonse's voice that they were using, but I don't really know how that, how that's working though. But he looked like he was in the void and, you know, and for a second I thought he was like, you know, that entity that was reaching yeah. out, but then we obviously saw pride there. So that kind of like, in my opinion, I guess dismissed that possibly. Um, so I'm not quite sure what's I'm going on with Alphonse. I'm curious about that entity that yeah. was in the void. So like, is it the same as pride? Is it something else? Like there's a lot of questions still with the void in general. Yeah. All right. Well, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can stay notified for all of our future reactions. Also head over to our Patreon if you want to watch our full length reactions to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. We upload them over there. The link's down in the description below. Okay, we'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.